Hi there, Mike here. Just thought I'd show you a new feature of the Unity Serializer Wizard in version 0.8, uh, released on the 28th of June. And that feature is the new References button. So here we can see the Angry Box demo with uh, the Unity Serializer built in. And if we click on the References button, we're going to see this panel. Now what this is doing is it's showing us uh, all of the animation clips, audio clips, whatever, that we might have variables referring to where those variables have the same name as each other. Uh, some of those assets have the same name as each other. So if we had a variable referring to take one, the way that Unity Serializer works is it says, okay, well, I'll have the first one of take one that I find, or the second one, or the third one. And that's only a problem if then you add some more and they go in in a different order for some reason. So this screen just lets you see that and check whether you appear to be referring to anything that might be duplicated and they'll be marked in yellow if they are. So we have 12 things called plane. Uh, the last one's actually internal to Unity. And the other ones we can get to by clicking on them here and it will ping them up in the project window. Now I know that we're not actually doing any of these references so we don't need to worry about this warning. But it's just a kind of useful thing to be able to see and uh, then you can help debug your uh, loading issues if you have any, it might be because you've got a non-uniquely named item. So if you can, it's a good idea to name your textures and your, your animations differently. If you can't, it will still work, but it's just a potential source of problems when it tries to find that reference again and things have changed. So it's more robust if they're all unique, but it's not necessary. So there you go, the new feature.